What's up, Omar? Uh, how was practice the last couple of days? Let's start there, I guess, and kind of understanding what it's going to take now, I guess, kind of like Coach Kelly's talked about. Uh, it's been good. It's been great. We uh, we just been bringing them like more intensity, you know, more focus and stuff like that, you know. A lot of the talk was about Harold and, and his ability to, to still make plays in the position that they have him in. As his fellow linebacker, what are you seeing as far as that and, and the way that he gets utilized versus opening up some other guys? Uh, I think I think last week he was like he just he trying to learn inside backer and stuff like that. He's a young player, you know. Um, I think this week we going put him put him in more outside the box, like let him let him be him type stuff this week. So. Um, bring bring Greg Penn back in the box, you know, open up some opportunities for him, you know. So I think it's going to be good this week. Uh, about Mason coming back, we talked with you earlier about how disruptive he could be at practice. I guess how excited are you to have that big guy up front kind of causing havoc? Uh, I'm real excited. I'm, I'm excited for him. You know, I, he, he ain't played ball in a while. You know, I, he ready to get out there. So I just can't wait to uh, play behind him. Give up the microphone. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Noah said that basically you guys are ready to take it out on Grambling. Is that the same sentiment for you? Yeah. You know, um, we just approaching it like how we should approach every week, you know. But definitely get that get that bad taste out of our mouth, you know. We're going we gonna to have to take it out on somebody. So this week it just happened to be Grambling. Death Valley, Saturday night. What are the emotions for you going out there? Uh, I just, just, I'm excited. You know, I've seen, I've never been in it, but like I've seen like the videos of how, how crazy it gets. So I'm just really excited to, to get out there, see the atmosphere. Omar, how explosive can the pass rush be to an opposing offense if you play to your full potential? Uh, it could be crazy. You know, uh, you got Wango. Mason on the inside, then with the edge rushers we got, it's like you're going to have to double somebody and you're going to give somebody a one-on-one. -on -one. So it's like, it's, it's crazy. It could like, if we get rolling, it could be scary. Did this week feel more like a reset? Like, how did you approach it? What did you think after kind of that loss? Uh, I think Sunday was kind of like an eye opener for us. You know, it was our first piece of adversity for the season. Um, I think that we we really took it and like learned from it. And this week we just been going that much harder because it's like like what we like what we went out there and did was like unacceptable, kind of. So I think we just been taking that extra extra focus, extra intensity, extra energy and practice and stuff like that. To make sure that like whenever whenever we go out there next, like. It's going to look totally different. Mm -hmm. Omar, you being kind of a leader of this defense lined up right in the middle, what do you want to see from this defense, whether it's you know scheme-wise or attitude-wise going into this week? Uh, I think just flying around, you know, uh, flying around, being physical, you know, making plays. I think especially, like, really any week, I just feel like we need to just dominate, like really dominate the team. You know, uh, really like just choke them out, make them like really make them not want to come out there. So I think just moving forward, just building building into that type of defense and stuff like that, because we we definitely got the pieces for it. I think we just grow together. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be real good. Thanks, Omar.